Congratulations on the win. I know it's Thank got you. to feel good to get the monkey off the back and get going. Yeah, uh, it, it does. You know, this this is a team, this UCA team, that's um, had some nice wins. I think they lost by seven at Mississippi State. They beat SEMO at SEMO, a team that came here and beat us by three. Um, they've lost a couple of close games. They've played a very difficult schedule, um, much like us. But, they, you know, they're five and five coming in. They lost a tough game at Nichols, which we know is, is, is never easy. One of their better players tonight didn't play. Um, uh, I guess number is two. Miles, Miles is an awfully good driver, and I think that would have added another dimension to their attack tonight for sure. But, you know, they also had some, some more three-point shooting out there. I don't know if we've got uh, if Dwayne Schaefer has put on the sign up there out on the street there, come in and get hot, uh, free, free shooting. Uh, but it seems like everybody gets off to a tremendous start in the first 61 half. Sixty-one and a half percent for them in the first half. Yeah, I mean it's uh, obviously there. There's no fear <laughs> coming into our building and shooting. We have to kind of instill that fear if it's at all possible. And and in the second half, we, we did a much better job. Uh, you know, we held them to thirty-one percent from the floor and and uh, twenty-five percent from threes. Much better job on our part. So. A great first win, and one that's been long overdue. ULM, North Texas, um, you know, SEMO at home. Those were all very winnable games. Um, difficult matchup opening up with maybe the, arguably the most talented team and, and, a, and a team that coming from the Summit League into our league in the Southland in all Roberts, that's obviously at an old other level of recruiting right now, size and talent. And yet there was something positive at, at the end of that game, only losing by 12 or, or so, there was something about the way we kind of finished that game. Even though we got down and they were hot as a firecracker, we were able to kind of manage that game and, and, and get it from ugly to to respectable. And I, I don't know what it was, but you know, for our team, I really think the swagger and the confidence will come if you can put a couple of plays or games rather back to back to back. So Monday night becomes critical. Going to Lamar and, and a team that's struggled as mightily or more so than we have and finding a way to exact a win on the road there, all of a sudden you're two and one and three games into it, you're feeling pretty good with another home game against a really uh, a, a smart-minded opponent and it was next Saturday. So you gotta start managing the week and it's gotta be piecemeal step by step. But um, I had to take a timeout. We're down 14 points. There was, you could see the kind of that, that, not desperation, but that blank look again. And then all of a sudden we defended and we created a few things off of that defense. And all of a sudden we're having fun and there's some swagger and the shots are going in. And I, and I love, even before so, we're scoring again. We're scoring again, and that just is easing us up. Now it's just all about defensive discipline. And the game ball, and you can look at his line, and it's not all that impressive from an offensive standpoint. And you know who it's going to be. Yeah. It's Roger Woods, yeah. without a doubt. Defended the bigger players, went up and grabbed rebounds, managed the ball up the court for us against the press, didn't panic, tough as nails, got down here and did free throws and got fouled. Tremendous. And somebody Freshman needed played to step above up. his experience tonight. Without a doubt. Well, at this point in the season, when you've got 12, 13 games under your belt, you're really not a freshman. You're not a junior anymore. It's time to start growing up and developing and evolving and changing in the right ways. And it was just terrific to see that. A.B., I thought, was, was hurting us. He was not able to get in there and, you know, you, 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 you either get, get the job done or you become irrelevant momentarily, but that's what your bench is for, and that's why you develop and train everybody. It was great to see that tonight. The spark we needed to complement some other very good performances. Uh, speaking of very good performances, so one of the ones that you said you, you're, you're looking for that you hadn't gotten yet this season was that game where Brandon Fortenberry kind of takes over. Uh, it, it's not exactly a great, great night for him tonight, but he shoots 50%. And of that 50%, he's 5 of 10 from beyond uh, the arc and scores 23 for you tonight. He's getting back to where he was. Well, and two guards with five assists. Two guards with five assists. And, uh, and that's that's huge. And um, But, you know, guys came in and did their jobs tonight. And, uh, you know, Jamal came in and did his job. They have a big player that was really bothering Roosevelt a little bit. And, you know, but, but Roe kind of found a way or two to get around him and to finish. And um, I really loved his intensity out of the timeout. I thought his attacking style helped us a little bit. And uh, the other thing is Brandon got himself going because Brandon refused to settle for outside shots. Isn't that ironic that he was attacking and drawing fouls and going to the basket? And that mentality opened up the other shots for him, I thought. 
The one adjustment I thought we needed to make, besides defensive toughness, I really was not happy with a guy or two at halftime. Mm -hmm. But the other thing that was clear was that we were getting seduced into wanting to run up and down the floor with them. We were feeling good about our offense again. We haven't had it in a while. And we were running the pace with way too fast, and it suited them. It needed to become a half-court game. Now, that said, we still got some fast breaks in the second half. It had to be opportunistic, and I thought we were just falling in love with it, and we had to stop that. And that was a huge emphasis at halftime. 41 points in one half, 27 in the other, and uh, you know, 33 and 39, almost a replica of the other night. So, I, again, maybe the other night gave us a few clues as to what this team can do. And I said this, I, don't, I guess, to one of the assistant coaches today. I said, you know, our team, whether we're up five or down five or seven or whatever, we just got to hang in there because we're going to maybe play ugly and stupid and do some things that are not quite uh, a part of the uh, basketball 101 handbook. But we'll make a pretty good run at some point. And if we can just be in the game, we'll either make up that margin or we'll pull ahead. And that was evident tonight. We're, I don't know that we're quite mature enough to dominate a game from start to finish. But, you know, you just got to not give up. You got to just keep coaching and um, and hope that it didn't get too bad and we can make that push. Roosevelt got to start after that timeout. I had to take early in the second half. And then Roger eventually just came in and said, no more. And he just kind of did the Kimbe Matumbo said, no, not, we're not going to do this anymore. And just a great performance for the freshman. And we knew he was good. Tonight he proved uh, our, our judgment good. Coach, congratulations on the win. Quick turnaround. You got